Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Mixed Sex and Politics. I am glad to be back in Dallas, Fort Worth. I was gone for about a week, went on vacation with my wife to Charlotte, North Carolina. This is our second straight year going there because we went last year at the same time and loved it so much that we decided to go back again and uh, to check it out to see if we wanted to move there. And the first time we went, it was, you know, we thought it was very green, a lot of trees. Um, the roads are nice. Traffic wasn't too crazy. Uh, nice looking homes, you know, Southern charm. And we just thought it would be a place we could potentially move to. You know, we've been, you know, my wife's been in Texas her whole life. I've been here for 20 plus years. And um, this is the first place we went to, talking about Charlotte, that where we actually said we could see ourselves living. We do a lot of traveling. And Charlotte, North Carolina was the only place we felt that way. I actually didn't want to leave the first time I went there. So we said, let's go back and check it out again and see if we want to move there in two, three, four, five years. But we went there and uh, you know, we had a good time. You know, and we just came to the realization that, you know what, Dallas Fort Worth is the place for us and this is our permanent home. This is where we belong. And there's no place like DFW, and the, any place that I've been to, nothing compares to Dallas Fort Worth. Even in places like Houston and San Antonio, Austin, DFW is special in my opinion. Well, Charlotte, North Carolina has a lot of breweries. I'll tell you what it has going for it. It has a lot of breweries. If, if you're into beer, and I am, I love craft beer. Um, it has a lot of breweries. It's unlimited supply. It, might, it feels like you could just pull up your phone and find a brewery you know, within close proximity. A lot of great breweries. Um, uh, the, the city is very, uh, you know, artistic and a lot of. I feel like it has a lot of character, in my opinion. A lot of character. Uh, you know, it's a great place. You know, it's like I said, a lot of greenery, trees, a lot of nice new apartments coming up, and it's a growing city, a strong, a thriving economy. The suburbs are nice. We stayed in a town called Mooresville, which is about 20 miles outside of Charlotte. We stayed there last year as well. You know, I like the suburbs better than being inside the actual city. I like to drive into places and <clears throat> kind of get away when I go back home. So we stayed in Mooresville, and it's a population of about 50,000. And like I said, 20 miles outside of Charlotte. But I felt like overall, the area is just, this time around, now that we got to actually act as locals instead of tourists i got the feeling that it's very congested the, the streets are very narrow a little congested kind of tough to get around parking is tied in a lot of places a lot of small parking lots and it was kind of stressful to get you know move around in downtown and stuff and i just I'm just getting frustrated even out 20 miles away in mooresville um, the streets are very narrow and it was hard to move around and it just, I didn't get that same feeling of home like I get in DFW. The people are nice in Charlotte. There are, there are a lot of nice people. But at the same time, uh, we got some moments where we didn't feel welcome in certain spots. And this, to me, there's nothing like DFW. No place like it. The people are very welcoming here. For the most part, there are, there are always going to be a-holes wherever you go, no matter where it is. Um, unless you're in a town by yourself when nobody else is there. But there are a-holes wherever you go, and I get that. And yes, DFW does have its problems. Of course, we're growing. They're trafficking a lot of certain areas. But the roads are better here. You know, the, the infrastructure, the, the, the highways are better. We have 635, 114, 75, 30, 820, 121. Uh, we have so many highways out here and a lot of toll roads and just, it's easy to move around DFW. The roads are, are wide, you know, it just, it just feels like there's a lot more space to move around here. Even though, yes, we are a large state, second largest state by landmass in the country. Um, but it just, uh, so that's obviously a factor, but I feel like Dallas Fort Worth planned better for growth than Charlotte did. I feel like DFW's done a great job of keeping up with growth, constantly improving the roads, expand, expanding the highways, adding on new bridges. And I feel like this is a, a, a very 
economically dry, uh, thriving place. Charlotte is too. Charlotte's growing. They have a 2040 plan to accommodate the new residents coming there to work to um, to adapt to the growth. And they're, they're, they're doing a good job of that uh, from what it looks like, but not in the level DFW is, in my opinion. You know, so another thing is that, you know, I'm a conservative, and North Carolina is not as conservative as Texas. And being in DFW, uh, it's just a better fit for me. I feel like Charlotte is very, in some cases, a, a woke city. Uh, a lot You go buy a lot of houses and stuff, and people have Ukraine flags on their on their houses and BLM flags. And this is not my thing. When I see that, the BLM flags, it's not, I like to see American flags. I like seeing the Texas flag flown on houses. It just makes me feel more at home. Um, and you can see a lot of people walk around with masks and what masks sitting down while they're eating. And you come here, yes, you still see that. You come back home to DFW, but not on the extent I saw up there in Charlotte. So that those are a lot of things that is you know, played um, a huge factor in my opinion. You know, for me, it was about 65, 35. 65% chance to stay here, 35% chance to move to Charlotte in the coming years, you know, two, three, four, five years, like I said. But my wife was on the 80-20 side, 80-20 Texas, 20% Charlotte, and we went back up there, and it, that whole thing just, it just changed completely, uh, getting towards, we were there for about six days, so that fourth day or so, it, it started to turn the other direction and go back to full swing to Texas. So maybe about the fifth day, I just we sat down and said, you know what? How about we make uh, Dallas Fort Worth our permanent home, and we just this is our place to live. You know, my wife was very happy about that, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that that's our decision right there. So we are gonna be staying in Dallas Fort Worth. Nothing, n- not taking away anything from Charlotte. It is a great city, but I feel like there were at times. Uh, we had a tough time finding things to do. We had certain things planned on certain days, but then there was a gap, two or three hour gap. We had to find things to do. And I felt like it was just, it wasn't as much to do as, as DFW. We have a plethora of things to do here. Check this out. You know, um, we have tons of sports teams here for me. Now, we didn't go to any sporting events here, but. Let's take a look at the sports teams. Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Renegades, even the XFL was still a thing. Uh, Texas Rangers, Frisco Rough Riders, Arlington Air Hogs, Texas Air Hogs, I'm sorry. Dallas Stars for the NHL. You have a couple other minor league teams. Basketball, of course, you have the Mavericks. You have the Dallas Wings for WNBA. You have the Texas Legends. I've been to some of their games. Minor league team. Uh, you have soccer teams here. You know, the FC Dallas, which is huge. And there are so many things to do in Dallas Worth. It just, I don't know, it's hard. It's tough to leave. So we went to a shopping center, and there were about three or four stores there. It was a Petco, a Trader Joe's, and, you know, a Best Buy, and a Marshall's. And I, I just felt like it, well, it, that's it. I didn't feel like there was enough there. And we did find a shopping mall, um, an actual mall. It was one of two malls that we found. Maybe there are more, but we only found two. But you come to DFW, look at the list of malls here. I mean, I, I could think of at least 10 malls off the top of my head when I was out there that I've been to here in DFW. Off the top of my head. I live near one of these. A big one, actually. And um, it's so many, so many shopping areas near where I live, and then just Dallas and Fort Worth itself. Both have lots of shopping, that's your thing want to kill time or whatever and i'm a big wine drinker i love wine that's that's my thing uh i didn't find many wineries out there in the Charlotte area there there were some but a lot of them had odd hours even uh close on a lot of certain days or open at certain times didn't didn't work for us um something open up to friday something open up till thursday and you know it just it just wasn't uh didn't fit our schedule really you know that well but, you know, I come back home to DFW, and I have a list of wineries I can, I can pick from all over the place in Dallas-Fort Worth. And like I said, tons of breweries out there in Charlotte. Tons of them. But then I can come back home and get that as well. I can probably find about 50 breweries in the area. 
um, easily here in DFW. You know, so uh, things like that were a huge factor, you know, in, in my decision making. I love drinking wine, so I'm not saying that was the main driving, the driving force, but it was a huge factor. Another thing is movie theaters. I love going to the movies on, you know, when good movies come out, I like, love going to the movies. I can think of about 10 theaters right now that I've been to in the area off the top of my head. And I have a couple of them right here in my city where I live. And I didn't see that many options in Mooresville, just one. And then I probably had, would have to drive to Charlotte to really go to a um, different theater if I, theaters if I want to, if I lived out there, you know? So, like I said, Dallas Fort Worth is just a um, better option for me. And Charlotte is great, North Carolina is great, but it is not the place for me. Uh, no place like Texas. I love it here. We have a great economy. Um, it's a conservative state. Uh, the DFW is booming. You can see with all the apartments going up, and yes, people are coming here, but that is not a bad thing. It has its perks, and it has its downside. Downsides are more traffic, things like that, but economically, that's good. And more jobs are created. People are starting businesses here. I mean, construction workers are getting to work because they're building these apartments, building these homes. You have new businesses popping up, so that's work right there. They have to expand the highways, so it's great uh, Put you know for the job market. People coming here, and in that aspect, we're looking at construction by itself. And then you have businesses coming to DFW, attracting new talent, people getting new jobs and things like that. So it's just a great place to be. It's a thriving metropolitan area, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You see, I have Dallas and Fort Worth on the screen here because I live I live in Tarrant County, and I lived in Fort Worth for a long time, but DFW, I, I represent the whole place. Um, Dallas, is, I, I'm not a, as much of a fan of Dallas as I am as Fort Worth, but hey, I still live here. Dallas, Fort Worth is my home, and I will be staying here. Mixed text and politics will continue to be mixed text and politics, not uh, North Carolina politics or something like that. You know, so anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you. Take care.